works primarily with adolescent and teen girls, and especially girls who struggle with bullying or having social problems in school. Um, a little bit more about my advisor. She went to Simmons and then got her master's in social work at BC, and she started off working um, at MassGen and with the wellness community, which create programs for cancer patients and um, their families. And then she started Wilsey Connections, and she has two groups, There's individual coaching for girls, like I mentioned earlier, and she also runs the Girls Connection, which is not group therapy, but it's just groups of high school girls from different parts of the state, and they can kind of get together in like a less pressure situation where they don't all know the same people and just kind of talk about life, and yeah, kind of teaches them lessons about emotional intelligence, which I'll get to a little bit later. And she has a Moms Connection, which is kind of similar, but for moms. <laughs> um, I had two different kinds of goals when I was doing the project. Um, I had my goals from within the program, which were the things that Pamela wanted me to do, and I had my own personal goals. And Pamela wanted me to teach people about emotional intelligence, both within Wilsey Connections and with the curriculum that I designed and implemented at Oak Hill. And um, for my personal goals, I wanted to connect to kids that were shyer or more introverted, because I'm kind of like that, so I, I could relate to that. And um, I wanted to explore um, psychology as a career or self-employment because Pamela is self-employed and sees that as something I'd like to do later in life. Um, what emotional intelligence is, is it's kind of like, like raise your hand if you've ever heard of IQ. Okay, so most of you. So it's just like IQ, but instead of measuring things like math skills in your memory, it measures your emotional intelligence, so how you react to things or um, the way you form relationships. Um, so the first two bullets are just what it is. It's identifying and controlling your emotions and having appropriate reactions and behaviors. And um, what can come of it is healthy relationships and good leadership skills and group skills and kind of being happier and confident in your life. Um, it also, what's really important, and I think what it teaches, is um, kind of recognizing like, the consequences of your behavior, both good and bad. Um, my responsibilities within the Girls Connection with Pamela was um, a mentor in the group, so a lot of the older girls have that role, and they just kind of um, become a little bit before group starts, stay after it ends, and just kind of go over how it went and try to get the younger girls that might be less into it more involved and kind of help them work through any of their problems. Um, I also helped her plan some of her curriculum, and I maintained a Facebook page so that she could stay connected to other teenage girls. Um, the Junie B. Jones Project was the curriculum that I designed, and um, I'll talk a little bit more about it in my slides, but um, basically I came up with different lessons on EQ and I taught them. So I had to write the curriculum. I wrote it on Tumblr and I created a blog on that because she wanted to also kind of expand EQ to Tumblr. And um, I went to Oak Hill and implemented it, which was kind of fun. Um, the Junie B. Jones Project, those were books I read, about, I read as a kid and they're about a five-year-old <coughs> And even though she's a fictional five-year-old, she really has really high EQ, and that's why I chose to design my curriculum around her. And um, she had a lot of just a lot of good information for girls, and I think it's easier to digest when it's through such an easy reading material. So it really breaks it down. And even though the reading material was um, at the five-year-old, six-year-old level, that's not what it was about. It was really more about learning the lessons from her. So um, the groups were mostly activity-based and just kind of discussion we read you know like two minutes from a book on the whole thing and then I just logged all the lessons and different things I could find on EQ. Um, those are just some pictures of the girls connection. These two are they did a lesson on um, labeling and reacting to labels which comes up a lot in high school students. So those are some collages and then that girl's wearing like a funny hat and that thing was about like the same way you dress appropriately, you want to behave appropriately and react appropriately and those are just some pictures of the girls doing different activities. Um, some of the challenges I had were the first group I went to when I did that okay, I actually cried after because the girls were so quiet and they wouldn't say anything and I thought they didn't like me or they didn't like it and that was really hard and I put so much time into it. But um, I mean eventually they kind of they broke out a little bit but that was really challenging. Um, also I had to kind of change the curriculum because part of making an effective curriculum is having something that the participants feel excited about and feel comfortable with. I'm terrified of public speaking, um, so that was something I had to get over because I was just talking to groups of girls all the time. Um, also, I, it's hard, but like getting honest feedback from where I'd messed up, that was kind of embarrassing, but I mean, it helped me in the long run, but that was also just like a frustrating part of the process. And um, the community 
communicating with adults because I think, especially as a teenager, it's really hard to um, kind of get adults to take you seriously. So it took a little while to get the group starting up because people didn't get back to me or whatever. And I think also not being part of like the team at Oak Hill, it was kind of hard, but eventually it got going. Um, the triumph was I did finally click with that group and they were not nearly as quiet as when I started and I found activities that they really liked and they responded much better to me by the end, by, you know, as we kept going. Um, I have like maybe 10 followers on Tumblr now, but I started with zero, so for me that's, that's a big deal. Um, there was a point during planning where I was able to really hit my stride and I felt like my curriculum really made sense and was flowing really well and it became much easier to create a curriculum. And also, some of the research was just really complicated because it's all written by like PhDs and kind of being able to understand that and learning more of the terms and that kind of thing, that was good for me and I felt more confident reading the materials. Um, the, the three major materials that I did use was um, Emotional Intelligence, the first book. Daniel Goleman is like the father of EQ. He coined the term and almost every follow-up, every material that's been written is a follow-up of his research. So he kind of has a big book, which is really broad. Um, these two books are more about a major component of EQ, which is talking back to your thoughts and change and how to change your behavior by changing the way you see yourself and the way you see situations. Um, they're all in the self-help section of Barnes and Noble, so I spent a lot of time there. It's kind of embarrassing, but it's okay. Um, what I can take away from this present from this project was um, I really did like psychology, and I mean I. I don't know if I'm going to go right ahead and major in it, but it's definitely something I'd like to explore further in college, um, or maybe a teaching profession, because I did like doing the curriculum. So I kind of liked how Pamela had that balance between teaching the curriculum and doing psychology. I don't think I'd want to work exclusively with girls, just because um, I am a girl, so I know all the kinds of problems that girls have, and I think, not that it's boring, but I think um, after, I, you know, I talked to a lot of different girls who had very similar problems, and I think it would just be interesting to kind of, like, if I was a psychologist, to work with boys and kind of learn more about, about teenage boys and the way, like, the kinds of things that they deal with. Um, I would want to work definitely maybe in the teens or preteens. I don't think I'd want to work with really young children or adults. I did like working with adolescents. And um, I think I'd want to do, you know, like, working with multiple people and not just doing independent consulting, but having, like, my own office and a group of people because it's really hard to be running around.